Hey there, everybody. In this episode, we are going to make this an um, animation. We've uh, we've got to put together. More than likely, you've got this put on the track. The first thing I need you to do is look through your constraints here and delete the parallels where we added the train to the track. Those parallels are gonna um, are gonna have give us some problems. So. Um, you should have revolutes all the way down, I believe. Um, so you should, uh, again, just right click. If you have a parallel, delete them. And then we're going to grab a slider constraint, which is right there. And you are going to click on the back of the track. And you are going to click on the back center of the train body. Um, then go ahead and click offset. And for me, I had to go negative one for my X and negative 2.294, I believe. Let's see if that snaps. There we go. And then you can see that it's, it's right on there. Um, I can actually also double click on there and it will show us our X and our Y. Uh, your train wheel should barely be touching your train track. And so if it looks like mine, uh, you're good. You might need to adjust your, your X or your Y to get yours a little bit closer. Okay. So now my train uh, can kind of move up and down that track, um, just like a rack and pinion, just right on a, a circle. Um, then we are going to... Ooh, grab the rack and pinion, which is like this gear right here. And we are going to click on the top revolute. And we are going to cl click on the bottom slider. And we are going to then change the distance to 7.07. .07. And what that is doing is it's connecting the revolute with the wheel and we need to figure out the circumference of the wheel. So the formula for circumference of a wheel is pi times the diameter. So our diameter is 2.25. Pi, of course, is 3.14, run around. And uh, so that gives us roughly 7.07. .07. Go ahead and click that checkbox right there. And then right click on that slider that you created. Oh man, I need to move myself out of the way here. Um, and hit animate and go to your end value. We wanted about 30, what is it? 36 inches, I think. Play. And you can see that the train's moving down the track. Now, goes a little bit off the track because we do have 12 inch tracks, but because that one inch is, overlapping here, that one inch is overlapping there. Technically, you know, 36 inches is a little too far. So let's say 32. Takes a second. Um, you'll notice that my wheels are moving because this revolute and this revolute, they're all pretty much connected. And as I spin around, we can see the other ones are moving too. Um, now, There we go. If for some reason, when your train moves forward and your wheels maybe move backwards or and then it moves backwards and your wheels move forward like it's moonwalking, uh, you might need to go into the slider constraint um, or the revolve constraints and find some change some numbers to some negatives. All right. Thank you for watching. If you need any help, please let me know.